<laughs> no, no, honestly. Okay, now we clap. And we're still waiting on Jeff to bring down a pumpkin or some. You know, all I gotta do to get rid of syphilis <laughs> can and will be used against you in the soda nerd in realm. The court of soda. Hey, I'm clean, baby. About to burn some calories on my. Yo, go. Wait, love you, it. what'd you do that pumpkin? This you killed it. As dirty <laughs> as. The Phantom of the Opera I have a small-ass head, man. Hey, how's the sound of the mic, Johnny? Phantom of the Somebody Opera took my, uh... Oh, there's some sitting up there. I know that. Deal! Yeah. Johnny has to clap. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. You know how you get rid of that, right? How, how do you know so much about STDs? Put your, uh, thingamajig on a table. Get a very heavy book. And then you smack it. You know Why are these lights on? <sighs> This, this is Brand. Halloween. This is Christmas. It's kind of blasphemy, if you ask me. Blasphemy. Okay. <sighs> Welcome, everybody, <laughs> to a special <laughs> edition with the Soda Nerds. As we get ready for Spooky October, baby! <laughs> Woo! He's pretty excited. That's it. That's how I'm starting it. Let's sh shoot. Let's hey. talk about October. Let's what, talk about what month? The month of October, son. All right. It is October <laughs> 1st. It's yeah, he's got the Griswold, you know. Jeez. And you're all drinking out of Christmas shot glasses. Shut Cheers. up. And we're talking spooky. Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> it is that great time of year, right? Best time of the year. Everybody it watching, is. it's October. It's the greatest month, especially in the state of Minnesota. The air is getting cooler. I have a sweatshirt on. Things are getting scary. I can't wait to carve pumpkins. I can't wait to go on hay rides. I can't wait to yell at monsters. I am so excited. This like is a little the best ever. You. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Let me say it more. And what's the tradition the we do in Minnesota? I don't know, Jeff. What is a tradition we do in Minnesota? Haunted houses. Hot haunted dishes. Houses. Haunted houses. Haunted hay wagons. Haunted, haunted, haunted dishes. Haunted dishes. So we're hopping on here. You're getting a special episode with the Soda Nerds to kick off the month of October with some <clears> spookiness. <throat> and we're going to talk about the best haunted houses in the state of Minnesota. Interestingly enough, there's a few of these that are like nationally recognized yeah. haunted houses. Yeah, right? yeah. Some now, that we've been to. You guys all have had some experience. Did, years and years ago. Where are we going at that? Like, what, Who's had the last experience and what was the one that you went well, on? Mine's going to be the dead end hayride. You have it on your list. I've so only been to two on it. It's the bee's knees. It's the bomb.com. <laughs> the dead end hayride I've been going to for, what am I, coming up on 30 now? I've been going for the past 14, no, 16 years. And uh, it was very small when I was in high school. And now it's blowing up into this nationally recognized hayride in Wyoming, it's Minnesota. Out of control. Mm. It's freaking sweet. Have you have you ever been? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you've been. Have you? <laughs> like I've never been. Oh. It's been like eight years. Somebody man. take this man to the dead end hayride. <laughs> no Leave him there. <laughs> we, we may be taking this man to the dead end hayride. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. It's very possible. It's very possible. We got yeah. And so like with the dead end hayride, I was I do my research. And uh, yeah. right now, this year, it looks like it's 17 bucks for, like, the economy or, like, the line <laughs> pass. Yeah. And it goes up to $72. $72. It's gotten expensive over the years. Yeah. yeah. Every single dollar is worth it, I will tell you. On almost every one of these, every single one was, like, is absolutely worth the cost. But wait a second. So, like, the $72 pass, is that for, like, the fast pass? Is that the immediate it's pass? Immediate. That, so immediate. So, it's basically everything. I get out of line, or I get done with the thing and go right back to the very jump on and go. I don't know how many times you can do it, <laughs> but... Hey, for $72, no, that that's what sense. I want to do. I'm going on the hay ride more than once. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I'm going on again. Hey, Little I'm kid. sitting here. Uh, this is my spot. It's already warm. Goodbye. So, the dead end hay ride, everyone's... Pretty much favorite. If right. you're going to go to the Dead End Hayride, I would say don't skip the line. The line is part of the experience. There you go. If you go to the Dead End Hayride, if you've been there, you can attest to this. They have a sweet setup for the line. They got horror movies playing on big screens. They got people dressed up as monsters sneaking around the line to scare you. And then you hop on this hayride. You go through a bunch of terrifying woods <laughs> with 
who knows what's lying behind them. And then you hop off and you walk the rest of the way through a bunch of haunted houses and mazes. And is there somebody that leads you or is it kind of like just... Well, there's obviously a path oh, that you okay. take. Okay. You go through a series of different mm-hmm. haunted houses. Yeah. And then there's like some mazes you go through. So there's there's a clear path, but there's somebody hiding behind every corner. Oh and gosh. it is fantastic. Oh my gosh. It's pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to run down this list. We'll just talk about the ones that are important to us, which I think we may have already done. But yeah. I, we did want them out there. Maybe we, the people yeah, want to go. We wanted to put some of these out there, let people know. So um, number one on this list, which is a list I created, was was Scream Town. <laughs> Do you like that? Um, <laughs> right. So Scream Town. Um, it is, it says here, it was top eight in the country on CNN. Oh, fake news. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't doubt that it's a nationally recognized uh, um, haunted, hi- haunted. Johnny. What is this one? A hayride? What is this? It's a haunted house. Okay, so then they had the the Henning haunted house. Just hit the. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Perfect. Cut that out. Keep going. They had the <laughs> Henning haunted house. Uh, that this one's pretty sweet. It's it's all done volunteers. All the money goes to charity, and it's a five dollar entry. See, so I if like you're that. on a budget, That's you're bringing sweet. your kids. Just hop in, in and out, boom. Yeah. Okay. Trail of Terror. Everybody knows the Trail of Terror. So there's Trail of Terror, nope. and then there's the Dead End. If you hayride. listen to radio, you'd hear Trail of Terror yeah. all the time. It's all well, shoot. That, that thing was one of the first ones, yeah. wasn't it? That was before the Dead End Hayride yeah. and all that. Hmm. Yeah, and it looks like they have like 25 um, different little courses or 25 little events or activities for you to participate. Yeah. I've always had a good time there. I yeah. have no complaints on that. And that one. was pretty good too. It's 18 to like 25 bucks. Where is that one? I don't know. That's, Why did I not write that down? <laughs> that's down by uh, Valley Fair. And yeah, stuff, the Trail of south. Terror is in. Yeah, where is that? In Shakopee. 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 Huh. Shakopee. All right. So then there's Dead End Hayride, which everyone loves. There's one called the Monster Bash Haunted House. Now I've never heard of that one before. Yeah, and they said every year it's completely redone, so nobody can go in there, and it's the something same. familiar. Yeah, I like that. And that one's uh, thirteen and under. So if you're five years old, free. Otherwise, it's 13 bucks. Pretty good deal. Uh, the Haunted Experience on Highway 61. Never heard of this. Never heard of that. Neither have I. Yeah. It's a hayride. It's haunted. I don't like some kind of haunted. Sounds like dead-end yeah. hayride. Ooh. Yeah, it does. Yeah, they have a fast pass as well. So this one's 27 to 39 bucks. So it seems like these more established, bigger ones, you're looking at at least 40 bucks, 25, 30 bucks. Um, worth it. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> worth it. In my opinion. So the, the last two, the Anoka Haunted House... And that's not the Anoka Fairgrounds. Ca- Halloween capital of the world. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I, that's my hometown. So that, I always, yes, that that's is the only one I've ever done. To to. That's the only one I've ever done. But I was little. Well, see, here's the thing. That that place has so much history. Now, granted, yeah. it's not as big and grand as a lot of those others. But it is the Halloween capital of the world. I remember the first time I went into that place, I'm walking upstairs and I'm getting my ankles grabbed yeah. from underneath the stairs. Is it really coined like Oh, that? it was it's terrifying. Like, is it, is it I mean, coined I, as the... Yes. Capital. That, yes. Yeah. The Halloween like capital of the thing? world. Yes. Oh, okay. Of the not, world. Like, <laughs> How the hell do you not know <laughs> that? I've Dude, never, they have everybody Halloween knows year that. round. They do. They what? Anoka has Halloween year round. I feel like you guys are messing with me. No, nope. how, Anoka is the <laughs> you Halloween You guys can tell him what's up, Anoka. You guys know. Come on. Yeah, so Anoka huh. hit the fairgrounds. 12 bucks for an okay. adult, 8 bucks for a kid. Fantastic. And then finally, last, this is not by any order other than I, this is how it came out, is Valley Scare. Which, I've been there. It's pretty solid. Uh, I, it, it's open to rides, so it can be rides and everything as well yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll be honest with you i i've done probably valley scare the most okay but this is why i typically get the year-round pass for uh valley fair oh and that includes it and that includes oh, nice. Nice. so okay. then it's kind of like hey you get nice that flat full yeah. say, nice flat nice flat nice flat bro here's the thing <laughs> <laughs> i like rats you buy you buy that season pass and you go twice it you, pays it, for it's paid for it, it is yeah. Yeah. oh really yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. so that's the we would basically okay. we would do that because it's just gas to get down there yeah so, okay. but no, I mean, but the unfortunate part is, yeah, I mean, they've grown a little bit, but some of the stuff isn't as the level of a lot of these others. Yeah. But I would say that one would be good for yeah. some of the younger like, so, teens. So or whatnot none of the haunted up. stuff there. Well, nobody no, under 13 can go in the haunted stuff. Yeah. True. That's really? Th- yes. Yep. Interesting. Okay. They have, they Maybe have they quite it. a bit. They're kind of like, uh, 
uh, the dead end here, right? In the sense that they have like haunted houses that you yeah. walk through. So there's yeah. a, couple, I think a bunch of couple of them there. Yeah. It's well, just, there's, there's like eight or eight or nine yeah. of them that you can go through and they're pretty cool. They have like a clown one. They have an yeah. insane asylum. Yeah. They I went there a long variety, time ago. But yeah. They just don't yeah. have, they don't have the, the psychotic, scary level. Like a lot of these others, like, yeah. yeah. Right. When's the last I time you've been to just, it? To uh, the Valley scare. Uh, pre COVID, so probably 2019. Okay, I yeah. have not been to Valley Scare in probably like nine I, years. Yeah, I was there with my boys. They were under 13. They let us in. I Whatever. was. I was like 13. It seemed. It well, seems. I've scary. never seen anybody card yeah. at there, so that's where yeah, I was that's kind true. of surprised that's by that. That's so. true. It is spooky. I think my wife and I kind of made a decision years back. We said because we were doing both Dead and Hay Ride and Valley Scare. We said moving forward, we're going to pick one. Yeah, we're yeah. going to go to that. And we chose the dead end hayride because year after year, it just continued to get better mm-hmm. and better and yeah. better. And it's like, we used to go to Valley Scare because it had all the sweet haunted houses and the dead end hayride used to be just the hayride. Yep. But now the dead end hayride has everything and then more. Right. So we just go to that. It's fantastic. Yeah. So no matter what you pick, mm-hmm. just get out there. This oh, season, go get scared. Oh, yeah. Go get scared. Ever. I love it. Go get stay, go get stay scared. Spooky yeah. people. Stay spooky. Get your adrenaline yeah. going. Get yourself dressed up in costume. Get it is up. October. <laughs> get dressed up and go out and strut. Who cares? This is the month to do it. So you know, you can go dress on and however yourself. you want. Exactly. You can who you want. Well, dress how you want. Yeah. Have fun. For the most part. <laughs> stay. Get scared. Right. Get scared, sure. people. Cool. Go get scared. I think that's it. That's right? it. We just wanted to be on here October first. Uh, say hello, welcome to the best month of the year. Hey, and we're going to get Jeff out to one of these buggers. I want your guys' poll here. Throw it down in the comments. Which one should we take Jeff to here? The redneck uh, nerd. The redneck nerd. Where is he going? The redneck seems like he probably should go to Anoka. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think the redneck should do every hey, single right. one on that list. Yeah, man. Deal. I'm down for that. We have 31 days. In the <laughs> 31 days. October. Gosh, let's go. Yeah. Throw let's in your votes. Go. Let's see. This video, Boom. if anything, was just our introduction to what is going to be a badass soda nerd month full of spooky content and we're excited to share all of it with all of you I'm let's, so go. <laughs> let's go let's go let's go go pack go stay spooky everybody wait, wait. we'll see you in the coming days <laughs> <laughs>